Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. So continuing in my series about low cap and good value projects at this point in the market cycle, doing part two on gaming. There's so many good gaming projects. You really can't cover it all in one video. I don't want the videos to be like an hour long. Um, so this part two, some other, some that I couldn't fit in in, in part one. Um, I think there's a lot of people that think gaming is going to be the biggest narrative this cycle. I thought this since the end of last cycle. Um, I had my eye on good gaming projects in the, in the off cycle. Um, but there's still a lot of good values out there. Um, a lot of things that have have pumped a lot, you know, so some people are hesitant to get in things like playable games or even games for a living because they feel that they've went up too much. You know, I don't think that's the case. I think they're still good quality projects. But we're going to talk about some other ones that are that are good values as well. Um, so if you haven't already, please uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in my Telegram, there's a link for that below as well. Uh, we go over lots of small cap um assets that we find. You see all the moves that I do. We really always make money in crypto in there. Um, also, several of my exchange referral links are down there as well. If you need a VPN, my private internet access affiliate link is down there also. All right, we're going to start off here with GameSwift. So this is a good project. A lot of people like it. Uh, coming in at a $34 million market cap and only 4%, almost 5% in circulating supply. So that doesn't look uh, overly attractive initially, but you know, it, you have to look into it a little bit more than that and see um, see what's going on. So, Game Swift, um, what they are is they their their goal anyway is to be like a site that you come or a platform you come to for and it's Web three gaming, but you don't even realize it's Web three gaming. You just you know if you use fiat or whatever that you interact with their platform and don't even realize that it's Web three gaming. Uh, or what blockchain it's on, or C phrases, or any of that. So it's a good, um, a good concept. Um, I like it. Um, looking into the tokenomics, so it's a lot to unpack here. This YouTube video from them explains it pretty well because it's not as simple as saying like on this date there's going to be these unlocks, and at this point there's going to be these unlocks. Because the but it's also kind of a good thing. So like the community controls a lot of it. So like over 40 percent of it, see 22 percent here, locked under governance, uh, I think over 22 percent over here, locked under governance. <clears throat> and that's like the community. So it's like a dial type setup. So over 40 percent of it just off of that. I think there's other that's locked under governance as well. Um, and then a lot of the the other allocations are locked for a while. So during this market cycle, when you could ex reasonably expect to sell Game Swift, there's not going to be a huge uh, token dump, not, unless the DAO would do that for some reason. So that is a, a risk, I guess you could say, but that's just how the tokenomics are set up. I kind of like it. I mean, it's, it's different than a lot of projects that I have um, that I've seen. Um, this is their light paper. It doesn't say anything different. Um, and there's also some medium articles I looked in, but they're not really relevant um, in my opinion. Um, come in here, look at Morales money. Um, you see some of the scores, security scores, experienced buyers on chart. Um, so looking at the weekly here, so there's two ways you could look at this, at least in my opinion, you know, I had a nice run up of like we've seen with a lot of projects. Um, and then, so you, you get this leg down here. Now the bodies don't close under this wick. So you don't really get a, a real break of structure. Um, you could say it's a, a lower low double bottom, um, or, you could also look at it as it could be forming a wedge and it still has a third push down. Um, so if it is a double bottom, then this would be a good place to enter um, a, a good weekly candle. So I did buy some today um, and I'll watch Game Swift, but I also know it's possible that it could come down and form like a falling wedge, in which case, hopefully it would still break to the upside. So some those are some of my thoughts technically on Game Swift, looking at a weekly chart. Um, so I like this project. Um, Ivan on tech, he likes it. I know he talks about it sometimes. It makes sense, you know, trying to integrate just gamers into Web3 gaming where they don't even know that they're, they're doing Web3 gaming. So that's uh, that's Game Swift. All right. Next, we got GamerCoin or GHX. So this project's been out um, a little while back um, be right before the run up for the last bull market. Normally, I don't love that. So it, see here april 2021 where it made some highs so it did kind of have that run up right before the uh the, the first bitcoin all-time high um 38 million dollar market cap 
Um, but circulating supply isn't too much of an issue. 650 million out of 800 million. I couldn't find, I, I did look in a, a few places and over the white paper and everything. I didn't see it written um, where that, um, when that was going to be unlocked, but I don't think it's too much of a concern for this um, market cycle. If we go to their, their website to see what they are. So it's like you um, uh, share your, your band, your, like, like your bandwidth for crypto mining and get rewarded with the coin. Um, this is kind of a diagram of how it works right here. Um, this is like for use. That's like utility of what you could use for the token for. So, yeah, it's like you earn with the share GPU and support AI, mine with idle power, and then the platform and you get the token, which is that. And there you go. So it says Game Hash has 760,000 registered gamers. Uh, I mean, that sounds like a lot. I think a lot of these projects make these claims that, that sound like that. And while I was looking into it, I found this Medium article from 2021 where they said they had 670 <clears throat> registered users. So um, that I mean, either they didn't have much growth over the last few years or they had a whole lot of users from the start and they have a dedicated uh, fan base. So um I don't know. I, I think there's some reasons to, to like it overall. Um, it is a unique project that that solves. Um, well, I wouldn't say it solves an issue, but it's a concept that we've seen like masks with they, they that's a similar concept to what they use with sharing like your bandwidth for the Internet. And there's some other projects that, that do that. So I could see this working and, and being something this bull cycle. Um, I, I don't love it as much as a lot of other projects, but at current price and you see this is the weekly you know zoomed out so it's showing some some life on the weekly if we look at what it would be from current price to this swing high up here you know that's almost a 300 percent gain that's a good game you know and if it breaks that then it could really run up here i'm not saying it would reach the all-time high again but you know there's not a whole lot of market structure once you get over here and it's just it's almost like price discovery where who knows where it could could end up at and um, so I think there's some potential gains here with, with this um, and some reasons to like it. All right. So we're here on CoinGecko with Hive Game Token or HGT. This is a project I was fortunate enough to get an IDO on right now, a $2.3 million market cap, fully diluted, $36 million. So we're going to look at the tokenomics. Um, see, it's done really well, like a lot of these gaming projects, if you get in them early. It's on Solana. That's something I like about it. I don't think there's enough gaming projects on Solana. Um, I think to this point, OTK is the top gaming project. But with Solana, with its ease of use and onboarding, it seems like they'd be the logical uh, option that you see more gaming projects pop up on. And I mean, there are um, gaming projects, but I, it's not as many as I would have expect to see. Um, if we look at their website here, I really think it looks good. I know a lot of these projects have good looking websites. And I don't pretend to be a gaming expert, but I have other people look at these things for me that know a little bit more about gaming and they liked it. Um, it looked pretty good. They thought it looked really smooth and that there were some, um, some, some things to like here. Um, if we check it out on chart. So like I said, it just came out. It's the daily. Um, it's got some nice, nice candles. Um, and so this it could be a possibility that it's channeling up off this trend line. So if I see a green candle, maybe tomorrow, um, closing, it looks like maybe we're getting some reversal, then maybe I'll buy more. I've taken my initial investment out, but I'm not opposed to, to buy more in this project because I still think it's early on with that kind of market cap. But uh, let's look at the uh, the tokenomics. So this is a medium article from August 2022. Um, so the project's been a while in the making, but it is the same project. You see the, the graphics there. Um, so it's got here where it talks about the different allocations and you see this is common if, if a project generally doesn't have no token release like a gaming project then it's something like this where you see lots of allocations with lots of different um unlock investing at, at tge and you know all these different like cliff and you know di, you know 36 months here five percent monthly i think the main one you want to see here is the one that says like uh 2.9% or yeah, 2.9% monthly, 34.8% uh, annual supply rate. So, I mean, the, the point here with, with all these allocations and unlocks, it's similar to other token projects I see. Uh, 
not as bad as some, worse than others. But you know, these it's not uncommon for these gaming projects to to release tokens. So over the next year, they're not going to release uh, all the tokens, but they will release tokens. I mean, you see right here, thirty four point eight percent annualized, and there's other unlocks and and releases and things as well. So, but that's the purpose of these gaming projects, you know. So don't consider yourself an investor on, on any of these. You know, buy them and have a plan to sell them within the next year to year and a half before the amount of these kinds of um, unlocks would, would matter anyway. So that's um, HGT. All right, the next project we're going to talk about is Pixel, P-I-X-L. Um, $8.5 million market cap, uh, fully diluted, according to Coin uh, Gecko and Deck Screener as well. Um, been out since late 2023. Um, go look at Morales Money. Um, so I can tell you that I, I've heard a lot of hype around this project. Matter of fact, it's Ivan on Tech, he likes it a lot. And we're going to look at their Twitter page here in a minute. It's got some good security scores. Um, look at it on chart. It's had some a nice nice run up and having a good pullback now. A long wick up here on the weekly. Could be a good time to buy potentially if it's going back up. You know, this also says it's fully diluted here. So look at their website, which is a few websites associated with the project. It's Pixel Pets and they're sold out. And, you know, some of these things, you know, this is crypto. I don't necessarily get all this stuff, <laughs> but it does seem, I don't know, it seems like something that that people would would buy in, uh, in crypto, I guess. And, you know, almost 200,000 followers on Twitter. I mean, I know that people, you know, you can buy followers. And one way you can look is at the engagement. This was nine hours ago. And that's a lot of engagement. Now, bots can do that as well. And lots of times you look at the comments, it'll, you can tell bot comments. And there is some in here um but i think a lot of it's legit um there does seem does seem to be a lot of engagement um you know i looked at a couple other um metrics and uh yeah it, it just seems like there there is people interested in this project um so anyway uh 8.5 million dollar market cap fully diluted um not i don't think it's listed on any um major exchange yet if i'm not mistaken it's only on uh dex all right so here's an interesting project that somebody told me about not too long ago called vision so it's a gaming project um you see it says it's been out 408 days it got a new contract address so this is all it goes back on dex trainer um looking at the old contract address price history didn't really help me out too much um but 4.7 million fully diluted <clears throat> so that can be good. Uh, anytime a gaming project's got a, a fairly low market cap and it's fully diluted, that always gets my attention. Here's their website. See, it's listed on a wide variety of exchanges, so it, it, it's easy to get. Um, and you see, it's like a you know metaverse trading cards. I mean, launchpad uh, doing you know things a lot of these projects are doing, but um, you know small market cap and fully diluted. So we'll go to the uh, the bottom where it talks about some of their partners. And that's another uh, venture. But so HVS Ventures. Um, so that is like um, a VC fund. Um, so that's one of their partners. And then this was another one, this Hash First Capital. Um, and you see they're invested in a few projects, Immutable, um, Mask Network. Um, so the only reason I'm just talking about this, because I see this when lots of times projects have um, everything fully diluted, that there's a lot of VCs invested in it. Like, look, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Um, this one I pointed out. But. I don't know. So, I mean, maybe it's a good thing that they have a lot of people working to try to push the project or I don't know, maybe it's just a whole lot of token holders. But then again, it's full. It's listed on a lot of exchanges. So there's a lot of liquidity, liquidity out there. So this project, I have some mixed feelings about. I think there's some reasons to like it, some reasons to maybe uh, be skeptical about it. But four point six million dollar market cap. If it hit somewhere around 20 million, that's like a you know, 4X. So you can have some kind of target like that if you're interested, but um, that is Vision Games. All right, last project we're gonna talk about here is BRN Metaverse. Um, $9.6 million market cap, says 10% circulating supply. We're gonna talk about that. 
So it came out the end of last bull market. Uh, I generally like things to be newer, but at least I would rather it have come out at the end of last bull market than to have that full um, cycle run up and have a lot of bag holders in the project. Um, so they have metaverse project, uh, AI, gaming, NFT, Web3, uh, to play to earn. I mean, every the term that you can throw in for like metaverse and gaming is, is, is in that that write up for them. Uh, we check out their website, see what kind of kind of style their gaming is. Um, so it's okay. I like the the way it looks. Um, but the main reason why I kind of caught my attention with this project is they're supposed to be burned a whole lot. This is from their white paper, um, saying they're eighty eight percent burn. Um, if we look at their YouTube, they have put this video out eleven days ago. Um, talking about they're going to burn all these uh, tokens coming up pretty soon. So um, if we look at Morales money um, for it, I found it, it's been out, you know, uh, 700 days and the security score for it was fairly low, which the on Dex tools as well. So I did find that a little strange, but looking at it on chart on the daily, it really doesn't look uh, bad. Um, it's kind of been trending down a little bit. I've been buying it in the low 40s. Um, so you see this wick down here. Look to the left. like It just does touch the top of that range. So if it just were to reach up to the a local swing high from this point, that would be 100% gain. So for something like this and it's on an exchange on MEXC, you know, I can buy it and I can set a limit order to sell a good portion of it up there and then – you know, I'm, I can just let it roll from there um, and I'll stay in it and see what happens with this burn. Uh, I'm not sure that this is a project that like I love, like, you know, games for a living, playable games or uh, some that maybe I talked about earlier in the video. But uh, like I said, if it just reaches up, like it doesn't look terrible on chart. It looks like it could be at the bottom of a channel or a range. So if it just reaches back up there, you know, that's a good triple digit target um, that a reasonable target that it, that it could reach. Um, just in the short to midterm. So anyway, um, I'm going to stay in for now and see what happens with this burn. And that is BRN. All right, guys. So that is part two of low cap and good value gaming projects. Um, I hope everybody got some out of who watched to the end. And please check out my referral links and everything that I said is not financial advice. It's just some projects that I'm looking at and how I'm going to manage my funds accordingly. So thanks again for everybody who tuned into the end. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Later.